Hello everyone, my name is Eliote, and this is going to be the start of my Let's Play of Bug Fables. A little bit about myself because this is my first Let's Play. I am a college student that hasn't had any time to do much, but when I started playing video games, it felt kind of repetitive. I mainly played roguelites and kind of mind-numbing games that just help pass the time. But recently, I started playing, well not recently, uh, about six months ago I started playing Bug Fables and I completed it. And I found myself to love playing video games again. And because of this series reigniting my, I guess you can say passion for it, I wanted to do a let's play of it. It's something completely new for me and I hope you enjoy this experience with me. So with my file name as Eliote. Let's get started. Yes. Ah, the land of Bulgaria. A peaceful, prosperous place where many adventurers bug together. Although, it wasn't always that way. Lured by the promise of riches and lush fields, a young queen visited these lands many moons ago. Together with her daughters and fellow ant servants, she established Bulgaria's modest first settlement. Her people were happy, the ant kingdom flourished, and yet the queen's dream had not still not been fulfilled. For she had heard of an ancient people who safeguarded a treasure of unbelievable power. It was none other than The Everlasting Stapling, a plant which would grant unending youth and strength to any who ate even one of its leaves. She searched and searched and searched. Alas, she never found it. She entrusted her dream to the princess before falling to a hard-earned sleep. Determined to succeed where her mother did not, the new queen rallied the people together under her cause. Opening the doors of the kingdom to bugs of all shapes and kinds, she attracted ambitious and skilled adventurers. Her decree was loud and clear. Find me that everlasting sapling, and you shall know wealth like no other bug ever has. With this, the Explorers Association was founded, with its many members searching across the kingdom for clues and treasures. Even though to this day, the sapling has not been found, but every bug dreams of one day claiming it for themselves. Or at least, those were the stories I was told in my land. Despite many unfortunate incidents, tales of your people helped me keep my adventuring spirit alive. Rest assured, Kabu, they are not mere legends, but real history. This Explorers Association and all the explorers who risk their wings for glory are proof of that. Then, Sir Maki, would you consider my earlier offer? Kabu, I respect your passion, but I take missions of the highest danger. An unproven warrior is not fit to accompany my team. Unproven? Maki, I've bested many hardships in the north. Or so you say. Your knowledge of our culture and your passion for exploring are as true as my blade's edge, Kabu. But... I would ask you to not press the issue. This is not the place to cause a scene. What? <laughs> Can I just say that again? As I said, we cannot allow children to explore, much less snake mouth den. I'm not a kid. I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that voice. So much for that. Would you accompany me, Kabu? It is my duty to investigate, even though it's. Right in front of us. Well, if you insist. Walk around using the joystick? Press A to jump or talk to people. L I'm gonna try to make voices for all the characters I see. Or just read them out. I don't think I'll have to try too hard. But my, my instincts say talk to everyone. Oh, Maki. He's getting ready to serve justice. No, he's just gonna cause a scene again. Like always. 
This sort of thing occurs frequently? Hey, didn't Maki ask for you? Don't make him wait, or I'll make you pay. Jen, you're embarrassing me. You're not the head of his fangirl club. Yes, I am. I'm just going to walk out of this one. Wow, what a stand. And up here. Would you mind coming back in a bit? Look at all this darn paperwork on one clipboard. I shouldn't disrupt his work. And what about you, red-looking fella? Greetings, explorer. What do you want? You shouldn't keep Maki waiting. He's right. Why am I up here? <gasps> Would you run up? Oh, I thought I could jump. It's fine. And... Beetle, B, lower your voices. What is the matter? This guy's calling me a kid. Says I can't explore. Shouting isn't going to change the rules, you kid. Shut it. It's not about age. It's about skill. I'm B, the best explorer that Hive has ever seen. I'm not some random B. An explorer B? Yeah, got a problem? Saying bees can't explore? Expecting honey and paint? I didn't say that, but... Silence, please. This guild of ours is no place for petty squabbles. Look, I can't just give a permit to some bee, much less a, without a partner. Team should be a duo of explorers, you know? I'm worth like four bees, okay? Hey, V, what do you want? Why don't we join forces? We both wish for a permit, yet lack a companion. What? Do I look that desperate? I don't even know you. I have a promise I must keep, and for that I must explore. How bad could it be? Well, it can't get worse than having to stay put. Deal. Wait, you two are just crazy. You won't last a second in snake mouth then. I'll prove you wrong. No. You will not prove him wrong. You are both most likely mere novices, ruled by your strong emotions. I have no doubt that if you left today, you would return inside a bag. Dead. Sir Maki, although you outrank me in spades, you shouldn't underestimate me. I went through quite a bit to get here. Yeah, bugs like you that look down on others are really annoying. Hmm, very well. I shall test your resolve. Test us, huh? Who named you king of this joint? The Aunt Queen herself, for she has knighted me with her royal blade. Wow, that doesn't look too sharp. I accept your challenge. V, get ready. Watch your own horn. I was born ready. And here's the commotion those ants were talking about earlier with our first fight. V, our opponent is no amateur. Would you like to review some combat tips? Sure, just for the sake of showing it off. Hit me up. Maybe I'll even learn something. Listen then. We can both perform one action per round, be it attacking, using an item, etc. We can power up our attacks by performing commands unique to each move. Watch this. If I hold down long enough, I can power up my horn strike. Down. And at the right time, when I release it, it does more damage. Holding a button? Lame. Look at this. If I press A at the right time, I can power up my beamerang. A beamerang? And in the green, I don't... It didn't let me two times in a row. I guess for tutorial's sake. See? We're doing great. Don't let your guard down, B. After our turn ends, the enemy's next. I know, and if I press A at the right time... Pressing A a bit before an enemy hits you reduces damage received. With perfect timing, you'll reduce it even more damage. Uh, ow! What the heck? You trying to kill us or something? <laughs> if you can't handle that much, you should surrender. Go home and guard honey with your silly toy. Toy? Ah, now I'm mad. We should pay him back tenfold. It's time to use a skill. They're just like attacks, but you should select them from the yellow flower. Skills require us to use our TP, teamwork points, though. So watch out for how many we have left. We should patch your wounds too, using items from the blue flower. Toggle between commands between left and right. And so now we have our options. V has tornado toss and a crunchy leaf, so let's just see what this does. It tosses the boomerang in a circular motion, multi-hit move that focuses on a single enemy. And press A when the cursor is at the right spot. This part is easy to mess up like I just did there. Oh. And Kaboo has taunt, which forces enemies to focus on him. Look how angry he is. And 
that was a perfect block or a super block where where earlier mentioned if you block at the perfect time it'll reduce more damage and i blocked at the perfect time so i guess that's all there is to that and another super block and we look absolutely defeated S such skill with the blade you pass what You're perf you perform well enough i could feel your desire to see the world through your attacks by pressing a i'm no no one to keep you from your explorer permit Edel, you may grant it to them i get no saying this huh but maki is a queen's blade here you can have it you got the explorer's permit i said that late I did it! Snake Mouth Den is going to be all mine. All the riches, all the glory. Snake Mouth Den, it lies to the west of the association. A simple path, although filled with danger. There is much treasure to be found, but its jaws have claimed many. Treasure, huh? <laughs> I don't... Maki! Seriously, brother. How long are you going to keep me waiting? My apologies, Kina. V, Kabu. I must be going now. As you can see, duty calls me. May you succeed in your mission. What a weird bunch. Yeah. He ended up causing quite the scene himself. That fighting prowess. How many years must he have trained? So, uh, I'm V, I guess, from the hive near the big tree. Oh, I'm Kabu. I moved in just one moon ago, from the north. Cool. Indeed. Uh, Sir Maki said Snake Mouth was to the west, right? Should we get moving? Right, yeah, let's go right away. Don't fall behind, okay? Hey, wait, you two. Something wrong? You know what the goal of the Snake Mouth expedition is, right? Nope, never heard of it. You'd go there without knowing anything? It's like asking to perish. Shush, Eedle, just say it. Your goal is to find an ancient artifact that is fabled to be inside Snake Mouth Den. Many tried, but no one ever found it. Most never came back. I don't know what the queen wants with that, but she is very determined to find it. We will find it. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm on the case after all. This is what worries me. Chapter 1. A Dysfunctional Trio Change the party leader by pressing X. You can check your inventory, stats, and other things by pressing plus. And for context, I'm going to be you I'm going to be using great. I'm using a Nintendo Switch Pro controller right now that's plugged in by a wire. And so that's just the easiest way to connect it to a PC. And let's just start with talking with to this Orkin Mantis. Phew. Finally done. Something sometimes work just doesn't stop coming. Uh, okay. Where are you again? Excuse ya, I'm artist and I keep this place running. Oh, thank you for all your hard work. Uh, yeah, thanks. So you two-faced Maki, eh? Bet you found it ta a tad too easy? You know it. <laughs> I see you like a lot of challenge. One sec, I have this one thing. Please take it. You got the hard mode medal. Boosts enemy strength but gives you more XP and rewards. These artifacts help you by giving you different effects. To equip medals, go into the pause menu by pressing plus and selecting medals and stats. Once there, you can equip medals to different party members using left and right to switch who you are equipping to. Medals cost MP to equip. Be sure to check how much you have left. What is this? A medal? Let's say you should make things more interesting for you. The higher the risk, the higher the reward, as they say. If you defeat any powerful enemies while wearing it, come see me, alright? I won't say no to free stuff. You got a deal. Thank you for entrusting us with it. Take care, artists. Safe exploring, folks. Remember to check in every now and then. So with the medal we just got, hard mode costs 0 MP, so you could have this on for your entire playthrough. For the sake of the series, I'm going to keep this on because it's, that's how I started playing this game. But what it does is make enemies harder. And without it, I felt like the game would probably be too easy for me. So this is how I first enjoyed it, and this is how I'm going to keep it. But as you said before, once we finish fighting hard enemies, we should go talk to them. So this is going to be a thing where we go back to them almost at the end of every chapter. 
so expect this lovely music and expect expect this lovely den when we come back and now to the outskirts hey why are you getting that crystal you can break it you know huh you really don't know just tell us why her face forgive my partner Celia her mouth is most loose this is an ancient crystal correct they're unique to this land correct they can store the record of previous travelers if you smack some smack them with something this crystal is yellow so it'll heal your wounds you expect me to believe that all that awesome stuff for hitting a rock I read that wrong huh what is the uh... great sorry I was trying to I was trying to see what the dialogue previously was, but I guess I can't do that right now. <laughs> you are one of little faith. Come on, Levy. Show him. Would you like to save? Yes. Save complete. It is done. W whoa, it really works. This must sell for a fortune. All you'll get for this crystal is prison time. Only the Ant Queen can authorize placing these rocks in public sp spaces. Even if you find one in the wild, they're too heavy to be carried by a single bug. There goes that idea. Still, their properties are amazing. Let's use them when we can, V. Yeah, sure. Let's get a move on. Best of luck. I skipped over it, but... Or I guess I didn't read one word, but... These heal you and save. So if we hit it with our boomerang, those red particles mean we heal, and then we have the option to save. So whacking them with either the boomerang or his horn works. And over here... Hello there, three bugs and a snail. Alright, you're alright. Ah, these rocks are getting in the way of our trade routes. If this isn't cleared soon, we'll lose money. Get on with it, ants. It should never happen again. Alright. I understand my wife is upset, but there's nothing we can do until the rocks are cleared. What do you say? A rough. I should have gone into the city earlier. Now I have to wait until this mess is cleared. So I guess since they can't access it, we can't either, and they can't set up whatever they have. What do you say? Last night's rain was really heavy. We are very busy clearing up the paths. Sorry for the inconvenience. Heave ho, heave ho. Yeah. Oh, all the rocks are here. Must be some strong rain. And so, let's head west to Snake Mouth Den then. And this sign just says the directions. Let's go west. And the path ahead leads to Snake Mouth Den. Currently, only licensed explorers, explora exploration teams can pass. Do you have a permit? Explorer permit? All right, this checks out. I'll open the gates. Safe travels, explorers. Wow, how did you do that without moving a muscle? And with that, let's start our adventure. And. Before I get into any real battle with that little brown green leaf thing over there, there are things called field skills, and we'll we'll have signs that tell us what they're about. But I would just show them here, and if if I could do it properly, I would have shown it. But here we have a seedling. But instead of just attacking it straight on, I would want to spy, which gets information on enemies. And we press A when the cursor is right on the spot. Boom, boom. Hmm. It seems this land has seedlings as well. Despite their adorable looks, they plague many fields and have no qualms devouring crops. Although weak and puny in comparison to me, their flying variation is troublesome, as I can't reach it. I'll have to ask V for help. So after we spy, we get their defense and health. And the seedling is essentially... I... Need to focus more. <laughs> the seedling is basically the Goomba of the Mar The Goomba of Bug Fables. Cause this game, as you can already tell, is heavily... Heavily... I'm so bad at this. I missed the Beamerang twice. This game is heavily inspired by Paper Mario. And we can use our field skills out here. And you... There's a lot more comparisons to be made, but if we use our field skill on an enemy, it stuns them, and from it, we get times two. No, that just means we get two attacks from one person. And earlier we saw a flying, 
We saw a walking, and now we have a flying variation, and Kaboo can't reach it, so we have V. Lucky us. And now that we knocked it down, it's just easy to take out. They're the Goombas of the world, because they're incredibly easy to beat. And with comparisons to Paper Mario, the combat, the turn-based style, and the action commands all derive heavily from there. And there's also skills and TP. Hey, like attacking up close? Annoyed when an enemy is out of reach? Ask a friend who can fly or toss something to bring it down. Press X to switch positions in battle and attack. That's a nice tidbit. Very helpful, I... <laughs> I will definitely be using that the whole game. This is my first time uh, recording a video or playing a game on a video or recording anything. So, I'm still trying to get the gist of everything. So, if I seem a bit weird or if everything isn't as smoothly, I hope you go along with it. So, please don't judge me too hard and I hope you accept my flaws in that. But if I can finally find the words to talk about it and compare it to Paper Mario, this game is heavily story driven as well. And with a lot of different unique characters to see, and that's the biggest reason why I fell in love with it. Because after the obvious changes in Paper Mario, after the Thousand Year Door, there's been a big backing for this style of game. And you can tell that just from the action commands, this is heavily based on like hammer throws, hammer throws, using the hammer or jumping on enemies. But the gameplay of course can't be the same, so it's very different but extremely refreshing to see a game like this again. And also, the music is al always amazing. This game just feels good to play again, because after my first playthrough, I completely I finished everything that could be done, and I took notes, so it took me a while to actually play this game again. And I haven't touched the game since then. So I guess with the struggles of live commentary and relearning the game, I will be kind of new to this again, which I was hoping for, and I missed the awesome block. I don't want to call it a super block, because it doesn't say super, it says awesome, so I'll keep it like that. It's also been really fun taking notes and researching things about the game. Like, the different bug types and how everything connects, it feels extremely intricate and I absolutely love it for that. Love it for that. And I like cutting grass and where are you going? Think about this through the northwest. Uh, yeah, I knew that. Did you know that, Kaboo? I don't think you did. And let's just walk up to this big old bug. Excuse me, bug of old complexion. Is everything alright? Hey, Kaboo, we're supposed to be adventuring. Snake bath dead? Endless riches? Sorry, V. I cannot ignore an old bug in distress. First of all, my name's Chuck. And I bet I'm younger than both of you. But I've got. But if you gotta know. I'm almost done arranging my cozy rest space for travelers going to Snake Mouth Den. I just can't pull out this darn weed. You call this cozy? Chuck, Snake Mouth Den is more dangerous than rain on a wedding day. Shouldn't you be warning travelers? Look, will you help me or not? I'm not doing any pulling. At least not for free. Hmm, watch this V. If I press B near small bushes or rocks. But what if I don't? The grass cut itself! Whoa, nice. Something like this has no match for my horn. I'll be... You actually helped me. This made my week. You've got a reward ready, right? But V, helping others is already its own reward, and you didn't do anything. It's really... really not. Oh, no worries. Helpful bugs deserve gratitude. I ain't got much, but please take this. Ten berries! Ooh. Berries, so many berries. Use them to buy something nice, or later, alright? Thank you, we sure really will. We'll be going for now. Make sure to warn others of the danger. If you're near something that can be interacted with, the horn, a green exclamation mark, will show up over the party leader's head. I can't cut this man, but I can talk. Good luck, you two. Great. And if we cut this one, we get an item. So, oh, I love this game. There's, there's always a little tidbit. No, not tidbits. There's always little bugs and glitches. I love, I love seeing it. 
I refer to them all as bugs because we're in a bug world. And I like how rain is more dangerous to bugs because of how absolutely tiny they are. So they're extremely vulnerable. But yeah, if we cut the weeds, we get berries and items from it. And earlier we got a honeydew, honey drop. It makes you happy, but also fat and restores five teamwork points. I always thought that teamwork points was a weird name to call the skill points, but you don't really see any teamwork until very later on in the game. But for now, we'll just stick to what we know. The action commands in this game are always nice to have, because I feel like I'm actually fighting instead of just choosing an option and then attacking. Like, like RP many RPGs, I find it hard to get into because you just click a move and strategize, but in this, it's action and strategy, which helps me enjoy the game more instead of just looking at numbers. And the number system in this game is sticking with the smaller numbers and not like the thousands. But here we are at Snake Mouth Den. This is it, Snake Mouth Den. It doesn't look that scary, you know? According to the rumors I've heard, it is, gr it is the grave of thousand explorers. Having ended countless journeys, many a song have been written about this danger. For real? Its interior must be absolutely real with monsters and death traps. We must be extremely cautious. Jeez, way to sell it to me, Kabu. But the higher the danger, the better the treasure. And... Okay, yes, we can go back on dialogue, but only if it's from the same character. So, if we go back to Kabu, we can't see what V said. Hm. It's true that the artifact is likely to be inside, but are you simple- But are simple riches worth such a risk to you? Stop trying to scare me off. Let's get in there. I must make sure she stays safe. Logbook updated. And what that means is, in our library, this is a discovery. And because of how- As we get through the game, and we get to more places, we'll see more discoveries. And in total, there are, whoa, 50. I don't remember it being that much, but I'm excited to revisit all the places again. And the audio of that was so crunchy. And right here, we found a crystal berry. These are rare items sought by collectors around the world. Maybe someone will trade them for rare goodies somewhere. You can check how many you have in the pause menu. Yeah, and on the right, we can see our TP count. Our XP, the little leaves in those small yellow orbs, or orange orbs, our berries, and the crystal berries. But for now, we don't really have much of a use for the crystal berries. And it takes about, I think, chapter 3. But for now, let's hit this yellow crystal. Would you like to save? I would. Save complete. And now, let's enter Snake Mouth Den. Because it looks like a snake mouth. There's much more light in here. This room must be quite near the cracked ceiling. What a so yeah! What a surprisingly cozy entrance. Uh huh. Hey Kabu, do you really have to comment on every small thing? I, I'm sorry. Hey, don't look so sad. Uh, how about this? If you want to know more about where we are or something, or someone near us, just have minus. Sounds good. Very well. I will make sure to have information at hand when you do. Cool, now let's keep going. And oh, before we fight, Snake Mouth Den is quite dangerous, but this room's quite cozy. Let's go before you jinx it. And you were about to jinx it, Kaboo, with our first enemy of the den that will be hit with the Beamerang now. This is our first fight, and it's against the Inichas. In Inichas? In not Inichas? Anyway, let's just see what they have. What's up with this thing? It's like a spiky pill bug. Its armor is really strong, so I can barely hurt it. I bet Kabu can flip it over though. And yeah, he can. With his attack, with his horn strike. Yeah, that's what it's called. We can flip enemies. Not all enemies, but with enemies like this, we drop their defenses as well because they're flipped over. But Kabu's horn actually negates, I believe, one point of defense. And his standard attack is three, while 
V's is two. So they do have different base attacks, and this would play on to strategy, which I had to take a while to actually understand because I didn't notice a damage difference until chapter two. Some enemies had defense, which reduced your attacks, flip them, which I just showed earlier. And what's up here? And oh, a berry. And with these beamerang, we can carry things back. Carry things like a boomerang. Like, it isn't that obvious. And over here. The bridge seems to be out. How are we going to cross? Well, that's it. Game's over. Let's go back. Wait, V, hold on. It's too soon to give up. There must be a way. Duh, I was kidding, you know. Look over there. It's one of those ancient switches. We just need to hit it. You can just fly over to it, right? That's too much effort. I've got a better plan. The mighty beamerang. I just need to get in front with X and press B to throw it. I'll trust you on this then. Give it your best shot. Alright. Switch. And we just cut the rope instead. That was unexpectedly destructive. Not at all. It was just startling. Well done, V. I wasn't expecting you to do that. Um, yeah, of course. Just as planned. Let's continue. I am glad to have a reliable partner. Super reliable. Aw, a little bonding experience for the journey they have. So, what does... I think the switch does... Yeah, it does absolutely nothing. I can't even... I can't even hit it. That's okay. And... A sign! Oh, I am so lucky I hit it. Last second. So, the... In... 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 The in Inichas, they are- many of these bugs are actually designed based off real-life bugs. And this is the caterpillar of the peacock butterfly. And I don't really have much else to say about it, but the designs for every bug are pretty close to what the real-life counterparts are. So I always think it's a neat little thing to add on. So I guess I'll- I gotta guess. I'll- I'll mention it every time I see a bug that has a real-life counterpart. Or just, I think it's interesting. But with that 16 exploration points, they weren't joking about the XP increase. And an aphid ed. Aphid ed. Aphid egg. <laughs> Restores 3 HP to an ally. A happily raised aphid. Hmm, alright. And there's a sign over here. Leave this place for beyond this point lies great danger. We have already lost one of ours to this wretched place. Curses. This coziness was an illusion. Our path won't be easy. That much is for sure. No place full of treasures ever been safe. So many have fallen looking for riches. Let's find the treasure quickly so no one else ventures in here. I will do this for them. So heroic, Kaboo. <laughs> Alright, let's head up. And another Inicha. Let's hit him with the Beamerang to be safe with distance. And we start the fight. And because we stun the enemy before we actually approach them, that time two meter above the party leader actually actually does mean something other than just attacking twice. No, it means just that. But after you attack first, you'll see all these little sweat drops come off their head, which means that their next attack is reduced. We started with three and now we're two. And every time we attack an additional amount, that's called fatigue, and for at, well, for each fatigue we build up, we do one less damage. So let's just end this fight quickly, because I can't block properly. Great! 16 exploration points. A level up already? Alright. Rank up. Sorry. I missed the music. It's... The soundtrack is on Spotify if you are interested, but it's been a long time for me playing this game, listening to the music to what it actually attributes to. And we have three options by increasing health point by one for each member, teamwork points by three, and metal points by three. And since we don't have any medals right now, I'm just gonna do teamwork points. I V learned Secret Sash. Nice. And 
If you ever wonder what your team can do, we can check with the library. No, the medals and stats. And then press Y to switch it over. One more time, and we can see the skills. And so, Boomerang Toss, which is just the basic attack, Tornado Toss, and the Secret Sash, which heals 4 to an ally while reducing... Not reducing, removing the poison from it. And so, let's hop up here. And there is... There is a vine holding a rock. I like that sound. <laughs> and over here, we need it to... Put them on these buttons. I guess a little pu puzzle in here. Pretty simple. With V's horn. V, Kaboo's horn, we'll knock them into place. And then... Rumble. And then a mushroom will fall. A mushroom? What? We did all this for that? Seriously? It wasn't even a rare item. Heck, it wasn't even a rare mushroom. Who designed this place? I'll sting them in the face. I'll tear the place down. Come now, V. Unfortunate as it may be, let's pick it up and start looking again. Let us pick it up indeed. Can I pick it up with the boomerang first? I can't. I guess we'll just have to walk up to it. You found a mushroom. A mushroom beyond average. Restores 3 HP to an ally and cures poison. Guess it wasn't rare, but it was better than other mushrooms. Huh? What? Whoa! Looney Tunes stay in the air. Yeah! Thanks, V. Phew, that was close. Arr. Kaboo, are you okay? Arr, arr. I guess he is. Hmm. This is the perfect time to go home. I don't like the look at that place. He's not dead, at least. He can find his way home. But I'm his reliable teammate. I'm going to regret this. Too much effort. Unless it's only for her. And the door's open behind us. Hey, Kaboo. Yeah. No rush. I can wait. Oof. I am lucky this mushroom broke my fall. I would have carried you, but you seem really heavy. I assure you, I'm lighter than I seem. Uh. Anyways, this place is really creepy. I must agree. And there doesn't seem to be a way back up for me. We will have to look around. Let's be careful, okay? You're almost a goner. If only I could help you in some way. Too, <laughs> too bad you, you don't look as light as you are. And let's save. Oh, yes. I will save. Why can't we just carry Kaboo? That'd be so much easier. And we could actually leave. And see what was in those doors above us. And is there anything here? Mm, no? Okay. I guess we'll just carry forward. And into a spider web? Yikes. Is that a moth? By the queen. What a terrible fate. A moment of silence and solidarity for a fallen explorer. Wait, he's alive! Quick, we must free him! Okay, I'm just going to cut, see if the boom, boomerang can cut through web. I'll make sure there are no other serv- V, watch out! Whoa! Quick dodge. Uh, a spider. How could a beast so huge sneak up on us? Kaboo, we've gotta run. Treasure ain't worth this. It's not that. We can't abandon this poor moth to his fate. I... I... I'm a coward! V, v! Wait! Curses. This has to be some cruel irony. However, I can't give up. Even if I'm alone. And we can't spy the spider. But all we can do is try to help that moth in the leaf. Leaf. Help that moth in the spider web. What a surprise! There's a spider nearby the spider web. And we can't do any damage. So I guess we just need to survive as long as we can. It is stronger than it looks. 
And it's floating! It's too high up. If only V was here. Must I really sit here and do nothing? Must I? Do nothing? And... Block! It's... It's too much by myself after all. Oh no! We're being destroyed! Everyone, I... I failed you. You wasted your hopes on me. Beamerang! Beamerang! I'm free. V? Look, I... By the holy jaws of the Queen V, you left me here to my fate! You are vile! Which is what the V stands for. Hey, I was going back to apologize. And I came, alright? You pushed me away from the web, but I still left, so I'm... Roar. I will properly scold you later. The situation is dire, but I've got a plan. We will attack the web holding the moth while battling the spider. And we bail when we free him? Precisely. Except we'll run together this time, without leaving anyone behind. I apologize already. Here it comes. Let's do this. And thank you for going up, because it makes it easier for us to hit the web. And strike it down. And why not use a skill on it? Since we can't hurt the... Wow, I am horrible at it. I swear it does more damage than what I'm doing right now. I swear I'm better at this game, actually. But with X, we change whoever's in front. And if you see on their little portraits up top, there's that red arrow that I shouldn't be explaining during a fight to free someone. But whoever's in the front does more damage. Does an extra damage. So maybe I was wrong about Kaboo only doing three. But for now, let's save this moth. Alright, we did it. Be gone, wretched beast. Bam! No damage to you! Kaboo, I'm done here. Well done. Let's get out of here! You're too big to fit here. Leave us alone already, monster. Boom! Yeah, moonwalk back. <sighs> Gee, glad it's too fat to come in here. Um, Kavu, sorry for running away. Very well, you are forgiven, V, but it was un understandable. Took you long enough, most people would be crying at getting rescued. C cough. Let's turn over a new leaf, V. This moth is our priority. You're awake. Marjor, I jerks, you're drift. Guess yeah, I'm bix. What the? Hey, you okay? You hit your head? Jason, Saika, J.O. said just. Could this moth be see speaking ancient tongue? Perhaps he is off the fabled tribes lurking underground. N no, we can speak Bugnish. Do you need like a minute? No. We are fine now. Thank goodness, you had us quite worried. Where are we? Where's the spider? Right. Let's get you up to speed. Speed, speed, speed. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Make mouth. Spider. Web. I abandoned my friend. Truly? It seems like we owe our life to you, V. Seriously? No big deal. It sucks we're trapped, though. Were you looking for treasure as well, alongside fellow explorers? Uh, what's your name? Leaf is fine, and somewhat a scouting mission, in fact. You've got some luck to be alive. Did you learn anything? Did you learn anything scouting? About the artifact? Artifact? If, if it is here, it's probably ahead. If we work together, we will surely find both it and the exit. V is so done. We have little choice. We will accompany you. Can you fight? Not really part of scouting. Seriously? You came into this place without knowing how to fight? Make sure to stay behind us so we can protect you. How reassuring. Okay, we spent too much time here. Let's look for the exit. And after that fight, I think it's time to save. And... I think with that, I'm going to end it off right here. We started our own little exploration club. Exploration permit exploration team with 
with Kabu and V, and we picked up an ex an ex explore. We picked up a scouter off of the spider that would kill it. So I think this is a good time to wrap it up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.